I would say my uh, brow overplucking was my biggest beauty regret. Any teenager out there listening to me, if I can tell you one thing, put the tweezers down. I really enjoyed shooting without makeup. I think there's something freeing about it to just completely be yourself. In my job, I have to get full makeup all the time. So it felt kind of unusual to just walk in and get my hair done and get in front of the camera. But I really liked it. In my day-to-day -day life, I don't wear much makeup, if any at all. So this just felt really fresh and, and fun. I've always thought that healthy skin starts with what you eat. I eat a ton of fruits and vegetables. That's been part of my diet for as long as I can remember. If I had to describe it in one word, it would be colorful. And I think that comes out in our skin. So I start every day with a big fruit bowl. That was what my grandma always told me to do. She would only eat fruit before noon, that was it. And so I get all those antioxidants in first thing. And then my big salad for lunch. And then dinner, I can have a little bit more fun. <laughs> I've learned at work to take it easy. When I first started doing the kitchen, I would eat everything and I would leave at the end of the day feeling real bad. And so I've learned just take a small bite if it's something you really want and kind of pick and choose. If you have a little bit of everything, it's gonna be bad at the end of the day. I think I feel the most beautiful when I'm at home and cooking and hanging out with my husband and we've got music on and just hanging out. Both my mom and my grandma were not that into makeup. They both had a very fresh appearance and didn't wear much. Um, I think it was less about a, a beauty approach and more just that they couldn't be bothered with it. <laughs> so I never grew up wearing a lot of makeup or being that into it. It was just about keeping your skin healthy. I think that we all have our insecurities and I know growing up I certainly had mine and it just takes time. And I think having different experiences and learning more about yourself and getting to know yourself better, you start to love all those little things that maybe you didn't like when you were young. I think that it's changed so much just in the last five to 10 years about aging. And I'm not afraid of it. I think I used to be when I was younger. You look at women in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Everyone is a, a different version of beautiful, and, and I think that it, it's totally different in a good way. As I was trying to get pregnant, I started cleaning up my beauty routine. It became really apparent to me that that was important, and so I switched to a lot of clean beauty products, and I really started um, moisturizing a lot more. I hope that my child just feels comfortable in who they are and not about being beautiful and what beautiful is conceived to be by other people. I just want them to be happy in their own skin.